Hello and welcome to another session of my Data Preparation for Data Science webinar. My name is Gerhard and I'm a book author and data scientist at SAS. Today we are going to fo focus on data assembly and more specifically I would like to show you some SAS tips and tricks how you can use data from a lookup table and add this to a larger table. From a business perspective, this could be, for example, that you have your large customer data mart with all your hundred thousands or millions of customers, and you have a smaller lookup table with additional information. Maybe this is the uh, certain product usage flag or a lookup table which, say, which says which customers have canceled over a certain uh, during a certain uh, uh, period uh, last month, for example, or who have had another event. So we would like to get data from a table to our larger customer table. And I would like to introduce you four methods in SAS, how you can do this, and we take a look at it. These four methods can be grouped into two larger groups. Group one is the uh, typical way where you join the lookup table to the larger table and bring this data together. The other two ideas is how you can apply the lookup table, for example, using a SAS format or a hash table in SAS. So let's take a look on more specifically on how these how this, uh, examples work. And let's start with method one and two. Method one and two is, as already said, joining the lookup table explicitly to the larger data. So what we have here is that we for example, take an SQL analysis and uh, say we would like to do a left join of the lookup table to our larger table. So we say left join on the keys which we use uh, to, to identify the, uh, the, the, the join condition and, and which record should be matched with, uh, with each other record in the table. This is a very simple thing how you can do this in SQL. Another way uh, you could do this, for example, is a SAS data step where you use the merge statement and say, I would like to merge the large table, the product sales table with my lookup table. And it's very important here to say, I'm using a logical invariable, which allows me to retain or to keep only those records which, have, uh, which were available in our original customer table or in this example in the in the products table and not get uh, other records which maybe also exist in the lookup table but do not get the match in my customer table. So with this in operator in the first table you can do a left join with a SAS data step. It's important if you run this in SAS 9 that you need to pre-sort your data. If you run it in CAS with SAS via you do not need to pre-run your data. So this is comment which I also have to make here. Let's now take a look on method number three. Method number three is using a SAS format. SAS formats are quite famous because you can use longer text or labels for the specific codes. For example, this could be if we take the postal codes uh, as a code and maybe would like to add the city names or the long text of the city names to our analysis, but we do not really want to store uh, this long text in our table, but we would like to use a format to use this when displaying or when analyzing the data. This is a typical usage of a SAS format. However, you can also use a SAS format uh, to apply such a lookup table. And this works that way that you start and say, I have to convert my lookup table into a SAS format. And to convert this into a SAS format, it is a two-way step. First, you go and create a control table out of that. So you take the lookup table, you leave the content as it is, but you uh, go and rename, for example, what is the key value? This should have the variable name start. What is the long text? This should have the variable name label. And then you also say what is the, uh, the format name and what is the format type into that. So this is a quite simple preparation for that. After you have prepared this control table, you go and say, I have to use proc format to use this control table to generate a format out of that. This format is now available and translates between the key and the long text. 
For example, in our cancellation example, this would be that we now have a format which contains a list of variables, uh, which contains a list of custom IDs with a certain behavior, with a certain list of cancellation month or a number of event counts at a certain point in time. In order to get this lookup table now to the larger table, we simply need to say we would like to use the SAS format to generate our new variable. So we say the new variable, in this case product type, is generated by putting the key variable, product in that case, through this format which we just generated. So what we have here, this uh, PG product group format, is the format which has been generated, which has been defined here. And this is, can be used now to translate the product into the product type variable. Or when we return to our customer analysis, this would be uh, the format which translates the custom ID into the usage example, into the, in, in, into the product usage. This is a very convenient and very highly efficient method because you see that we do not need to run a join we do not need to combine two tables, we just run through the table once and apply the data from the lookup table where we need it. Very good performance if you want to use it that way. Let's take on the uh, other method. It's a very similar uh, method in terms of performance. Again, we do not join the data, but we only run through our data once. And instead of, uh, pre of creating a format up front, we are creating a hash table up front. This means that we define the hash table in the SAS dataset. We say we define uh, a hash table, which we simply call age here. And we say the key variable is product, the data variable is product type. This is where the lookup information now lives in the data set, the data step, and as soon as we come to our, our data, which we use for, uh, from, our, uh, from our customer table, for example, we just call the hash and say, uh, use the hash which we defined above and see that you can find something. This means that it is now applied and the hash now walks through your data and says, uh, for, for which key column, maybe custom ID, I can find something in my hash and this is also added to your data. Also a highly efficient way to combine lookup tables with your uh, larger customer table. So what I've shown you here is four methods, how you can combine your data, ProgSQL, SAS data step, SAS formats or hash tables. And this uh, shows what you can do, for example, from a SAS programming perspective. Today we're focused on data assembly, but in this uh, webinar series, uh, I also speak on data quality for analytics, on feature generation for, uh, for, for machine learning, and on business considerations which need to be used for the analysis. In my webinars in general, I always um, put a big focus on that you uh, have to combine the topics from data preparation, data quality, and analysis into uh, in, into your larger picture. And this is also the topic which I have uh, discussed in my SAS books, uh, which I've written over the last, uh, last previous years. If you would like to get more information of, of, um, of the content that I provided, you can take a look on my articles and blogs, on my webinars on YouTube, or on my SAS tips and tricks on SAS communities, or on GitHub. I hope you enjoyed the content. I look forward to get your questions and your comments, and I thank you very much for attending.